Hi! Hi folks! Alright, today I would like to discuss with you some of the school ball judges we have in our judicial system. Not only in these eight United States of America, but in other parts of the world. Yeah! This is a little bitty article that appeared in the Dallas Morning News. It took place in the United Kingdom. A mother of a, uh, I think the boy was uh, two years old or six years old, was not learning his passages in the Koran properly, so she would beat him. And she beat him so much with a stick that she murdered the son. Yeah! Because he could not memorize certain passages, she beat him to death with a stick. She only got 17 years sentence. And the judge said that she was a loving and compassionate mother. You see, according to these judges that live in ivory towers and our judicial systems, if you beat your son with a stick to death, you're loving and you're compassionate and you only get 17 years for extinguishing a life. Now, not to single out the United Kingdom only, we got the same lunacy here in the United States, kids. Yeah! Right here. In the Dallas Morning News also. This bum murdered his grandmother with a hammer. He beat her to death with a hammer. Smashing her face, her head, her skull, beating her with a hammer. He only got 17 years. And when he got out of prison, he illegally gets some fire weapon, from, uh, weapons and he murders one or two of uh, firemen who came to his residence to put out the fire that he started. See, 17 years for beating your grandmother with a hammer. 17 years for beating your son to death with a stick. See, 17 years in the United Kingdom, 17 years in the United States. Now, the only bit of sanity coming out of the judicial, the judicial system seems to be coming from the subcontinent of India. Right here, kids, in the Dallas Morning News. Those monsters who murdered and raped that girl in India, all right? They now go to court, and the lawyers in New Delhi, the Bar Association, said, we're not representing them. These are savages. They don't deserve representation. I, I never heard of lawyers refusing to do that. They're normally chasing ambulances. God bless the lawyers in New Delhi, India, except for two. Two of them stepped forward to volunteer, saying it was their constitutional right to be represented by lawyers. Let me explain that to you. Yes, it's their constitutional right to be represented by lawyers. In other words, they have a right to ask for legal help. That doesn't mean they have a right to have the legal help. In other words, the lawyers have a right to say, I don't want to represent you. Very simple. As well as if he says he wants a lawyer and he gets a lawyer, fine. You can't be denied a lawyer if you can get one. See? The scruple judicial systems around the world except perhaps in maybe India, the lawyers are right on track. All right, folks, we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya. <laughs>